The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pizzavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, the big thing in the news, along with other things, is the fact that the, uh, the gold is down quite a bit. But the big news, actually, is going to affect us all, folks. Uh, I've decided to ten, turn in my resignation here at TFNN. Sarah and I are going to the Mexican border uh, on Halloween night dressed as Mexican immigrants because we understand the government's going to be paying them $468,000 per person. And so we think with our disguises, I'm going as Badman Jose and she is going as Lila Conchita. So I think we got a shot at this. If I don't, uh, if it doesn't work, I'll be back on the air on Monday. So um, just keep your cr fingers crossed for us because I think we got a really good chance. All right, let's move on here to a couple of things. So if someone's calling in, they want to make the trip with us. Hold on just a second here. Can you believe? I don't know what's happened to the United States of America, folks. That's the most ridiculous stuff I've ever heard. And then, and then I thought a little bit differently. My very, very dear friend, one of my closest friends, was Dennis and is still Dennis Anoy. Uh, Dennis was a pharmacist at USC. I met him when I first uh, worked with Lilly back in 1965. We were the same age, and uh, his father was in an internment camp in in Japan uh, in the, in California during World War II, and he was a huge business. Man, he owned several farms and pharmacies and a hospital. Yet he was put into this internment camp. Well, after many years, the family did get uh, several hundred thousand dollars of reparations for being put in that return in internment camp. But he was there for uh, two and a half years, and uh, Vic was a uh, just a super nice guy. As his son uh, Dennis, Dennis and I and his family have we've traveled all over together. But when I thought of that, I said, "By golly, they've done this before, so maybe they're going to do it again." I don't know. Who knows? Let's get back to that gold market, folks. We're having some real wild action over there. What I've done here is I posted the chart. Uh, this is part of the video that I sent out last night that we were expecting the market to come down to this. Uh, you see the ABCD measures there to uh, 1781. And uh, I, all I want to do is to show you what happened because just because this is this is what happens to the S and P, the bonds, and everything else. It's just a it's just the fact that we get it on a on a shorter term basis but if you look at this this is the oh shut the front door and shut the front door and raise the rent okay here's the four minute chart on the goal i i show you four minutes because that's how fast it was acting you'll see we went from 1801 okay that was a, a very small 382 retracement there and then from now we came down and hit that target level at 1782 we rallied 11 dollars in eight minutes to 1780, excuse me, 1793, and from 1793 we went down to the target we were looking for, which was at 1775 level, and from 1775 we rallied another $11, and so far that is held, but if we go anywhere below 1772 today, folks, that's going to be pretty negative from looking at it from a longer term standpoint. And if we look at the gold market, if you remember yesterday, we were chatting with Mr. Z about the gold market. And the only thing that I had my concerns about was the fact that you'll notice here that we made a high on the silver uh, back here on the 22nd of October. And notice the rallies that we've had have all been 382s for the 26th, 27th. And again on the 28th, and now we've broken down, and the and the the ABCDs on these all measure to 23.36. That's only about 50 cents from where we are right now. So that's that's what I'm looking at with the gold and the silver. I am very bullish gold, and I'm very bullish silver. 
I'm just waiting for a really good buying opportunity in those. And that's what I'm uh, hoping to uh, accomplish here over these next few days. I'll, I'll wait and see if that's going to be the case. So just remind yourselves, folks, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. Now, I want, to, I want to share with you some really good information that, well, I think it's good information. It's good enough for me. I think it's good enough for you because I put a lot of time in on this. Let's take a look here. Uh, this is the, the hog trade that we were looking at this week. And I want to I want to bring this to your attention because there's a little uh, signal that John Hill showed me that uh, is pretty good. Now, this is the you'll notice this is the, the daily hog chart <clears throat> for December hogs. And what we were what we were doing is we were breaking these down into components so that we could see it better. And finally, what we get to the last one, let's just draw it up here, which is number three. You'll see it here. We finally see the three waves down. As you can see, each of the waves is a 382 retracement on those things. And it says right here around that 73, 7350 level is where we should be bottoming in the in the December hogs. Well, December hogs went below that. They went down to 7175. Now there you've got really nice three drive pattern to the downside. You can see that clearly. You can see you've got a double bottom down there at around 7,100, but you don't have a market that's turning up yet. It's not giving you any indication that it's turning up yet. Well, let me show you something that John Hill showed me many, many years ago. It's on my back uh, on this painting behind my wall up here, and I will bring it up to you in just a second. And if I could, oh, tell me, I thought if I lost this, I'm going to be really, I'm going to be really upset. Ah, I did not lose it. Yay! Okay, here we go. This is a chart. Now, this is this could work on anything, folks. Uh, anything you want, but this is the this is called the yum yum trade. Basically, what it is, you can see the last three or four days action. You can see the action when we broke below the 73 level. Okay, we went from 73 all the way down to 7180. Okay, but look what happened at 7180. We finally had a big thrusting move up, didn't we? And that what it does is, if you look at the high, the previous high, which right there at uh, 7340. Once once we went above. That 78% level of that previous high, that became a yum-yum trade. And you can see it just took off. It just rallied, you know, well over $600 very, very quickly. That's known as the yum-yum. I'm going to be covering that more in detail on the uh, daily trading day that we're going to do on November 10th with uh, Tom Hugard. But I'll be covering that along with a couple other John Hill uh, gems that uh, that I've always had through these years. I haven't given them names like that. That was his name, of course, was the yum yum and the spring reversal and the up thrust reversal and things like that. We're going to cover a few of those. But all that does is it gets you to the point where it makes you enter the trade that you want to get into. Uh, even if, 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 if you're below your target and you still think you got a chance, watch for that to happen. Because if it does, that's the thing that will give you your edge that you hate to have to see whether you're going to be uh, you know how much you can risk at that point, and that has gone. It has gone up to I believe 76, and it pulled back to a 382 retracement today, uh, as I saw earlier in the day. So that's another one that we want to pay uh, very very close attention to. Uh, no guests today, folks, uh, and so we'll see uh, how we're going to end up here uh, working together. But I'm I'm sure we'll have some fun. I want to post uh, as we come into the break. I want to show you a really nice chart from the gentleman that called in yesterday, Jeff from Philadelphia. Uh, you'll see here he's talking about this beautiful butterfly patterning that's happening here in the uh, Japanese yen dollar. It's a very beautiful, perfectly harmonic, and it, it just really sets up nice. All right, we'll be right back after we pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Way of Up-Down Sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, I've posted a chart of the Apple stock, and I'd like for you to notice that the high that we made yesterday was an exact to the penny, 78.6 retrace retracement. Uh, and from there, it broke down, and you can see I've drawn in the exact 61% retracement to the downside, spot on. So that one's lined up uh, uh, perfectly for you know the Fibonacci folks that like that kind of stuff. Now, remember on the Microsoft, I had sold that at I, theoretically I didn't sell it, 324. It went down to 321, and I said you could take your profit here. I would prefer to put my stop at break even, and of course that stop was elected today. So if you'd done that trade that would have been a break-even trade uh, to do that. So that's uh, just giving you that as a heads up what you're looking at. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show, uh, bear, share with you here is I'm absolutely 100% sure that the stock market is never going to go down. I have figured that out. Why? It's just that the all the all the Robin Hood people and the Reddits and the the Maid Marians and all the others, uh, they're just never going to let it go down. So all you do is just buy, 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 and not to worry about anything. Okay, now I wanted to uh, share with you a chart of the uh, German DAX that we get from our friend Mr. T over in... Uh, the U in the UK and UK he, he's in UK he does he trades the DAX you'll notice here that uh, uh, we went up to the 78 percent level spot on yesterday and this is what we've done so far today just very very quiet nice little ABCD patterns all through those ABCD patterns seem to be coming up uh, uh, yeah, Sarah has finally can uh, convinced. No, Sarah only only does the euro, my friend. She doesn't mess with uh, 
any of the crazy stuff. Okay, now let's move on to a couple of other things that we looked at. One, of course, was uh, Mr. Tesla. And I wanted to bring this to your attention because it's got a really good chance. I don't know. Can someone tell me if Tesla has, has made 1125 today? Because that's going to be a really interesting number in Tesla. That's a 1.618 expansion on the long-term daily. So uh, I'm, I'm expecting uh, Tesla to get to 1128 on its way to 11,028. But anyway, 1128 should be an interesting number, just like 320, 324 was the interesting number. Uh, is a round number. It, it, it just hit 1,100. It didn't hit 1,128. Thank you very much. I just wanted to know what was happening. I'm not involved in that. I just would like to know it from, from mathematical and how these patterns work. Uh, as you remember, one of the things that we talked about yesterday that was very important that we focused on in the newsletter this week, that we were ready for a rally in both notes and bonds. And I showed the difference between the – this is a four-hour chart in the Treasury bonds. Now, if you did this four-hour chart, uh, on the uh, uh oh, I think there's a problem in River City. Let me double check. <coughs> Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Can you hear me? The chicken is in the pot. Uh, eagle has landed. Oh dear, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. The chicken. Oh, we're back in. The chicken's back in the pot. Sorry, back. Sorry, boys. That that's not my. I don't know what it is. I guess uh, the. Uh, uh, having this video on screws up my Skype, but I don't know if it is or not. Anyway, let's take a look at this uh, bond chart because I posted – I'm not going to redo these over and over again. They're important to me. Whether they're important to you or not, I don't know. But you'll notice here when we made the bottom here, this past week we made a three drive to a bottom in the Treasury note. That is so unusual, folks. That is just truly amazing. Now, we were expecting a big rally, and as you can see, we got that big rally. Starting on Monday, thing just popped right up, and we got all the way up to that 382 retracement at 160.07, and from there we had a little bit of a sell-off. Now, that is very important for a lot of different reasons because of the fact that the difference between what's happening in the notes and what's happening in the bonds – is very, very important. Let me explain to you why. Many, many years ago, I met a young man named uh, Mark Douglas, and I wanted to show you, we talk about ABCD patterns on here, and he, he liked those patterns a bit. I want to bring this up here so you can take a look at it, but here's the bonds. Now, you'll see that there is an A, B, C, D pattern right there. Now, you know, now, do the work yourself here, folks. Do your work yourself. Just like Sarah only only works with the euro, uh, Mark only traded uh, the bonds. That's all. Well, he had a couple of big bond traders that were his customers, uh, Robert St. John and uh, oh, what was the other guy's name? Uh Shucks, I can't remember. He was the really big one. And, and, and of course, uh, Charlie D and, oh, dear, Tom Baldwin. And th those were the ones that we were watching here. Anyway, you'll notice here that we had these things moving up in here uh, with the ABCD pattern. That's what he would look for. So you see these all the time. I, I, I bring them to your attention because they are they are important. Unfortunately, not many people spend a lot of time with it. Now, we have to talk about one other uh, thing that we talked about. One of the gentlemen called in this week about this uh, stock called ZS, whatever it is. I'm not sure, but we were looking at the 1.618 expansion at 320. Uh, that stock is back to 316. You see it backed off from 320 down to 308, and today it's back to 316. So it's another one that's uh, right up in the uh, bolt bailiwick of all these things uh, occurring. So let's see uh, how it ends up on the end of the day, and we will go from there. Uh, Z Scaler. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, is that you? Are you in the one in the uh, monster side? Did it get above 320 yet? Uh, it should probably be, I guess, above 320. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Who knows? Maybe these numbers will work after all. All right, let's take a look at one other one that's been very strong, and that has been the, the FTSE over here. And you'll be able to see something that we're looking at over here. Uh, all these ABCDs have now completed. We've now made a new high. Okay, and I want to spend just a second about new highs and new lows. And let me explain to you why. Look look at the double top that was there just the other day where the two blue ABCDs are there, right? Then the market goes 
blasting above that, and all it's doing is completing a larger ABCD pattern. You can see the other blue one that's there, and then the market quickly reverses. Folks, sometimes these things keep running like crazy, and that's great. But when they just go up there and come back down, that means there was a great deal of supply in that area, and you don't want to be messing with that. Read that book, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. He'll tell you all those things that he did. You know, he was in aluminum at 103, and the old high was 106. And he kept saying, ooh, I can see it 106. I can see it 106. But it never got to 106. So, you know, you've got to be able to understand where that supply is coming from. And if it goes through there very, very quickly, then you'll know it. A perfect example, and here's one that – you talk about talk about one that's really frustrating me this week, folks, because I missed this, and this is the euro trade. I mean, here it is, right into a report on a Thursday, and it's a GDP report. I have all my limit minders set up to go off at one eight one fifteen eighty two. It gets to one fifteen eighty three. The limit minders didn't go off, and so I didn't see it by the time. But I realized what was happening. The market was trading 50 pips higher because of the report, and it went all the way up to the high up there. And then I was expecting maybe it'll it'll stop at either the 382. Well, it went through the 382, the 50 percent, the 61, and the 78 percent level. It's going down, taking out those lows now. So that's telling you that this euro is in big trouble. That means the dollar is shrinking, and that's not good for gold. I would think. When we get back. We'll talk some more about some of these stocks. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart of the uh, Australian dollar. This one has acted absolutely perfectly. Hit the exact 61% retracement ABCD uh, and then rolled over. Now, remember yesterday we were chatting also about the Canadian dollar because we have quite a few of our customers here at TFNN are from Canada. And so let's take a look here at what the Canadian dollar has done here today. Now, the Canadian dollar is, uh, you'll notice here, we're setting above the 61% retracement. Yesterday, we were below it. So the way you handle that, if you'll go down to just to say a 15-minute chart, and I'm going to give you a pretty good idea of uh, how to do this from what from perspective that I'm looking at. And I'm just looking at a 15-minute a chart here, folks. We're going to do some of the things that uh, we just learned here. You'll notice here uh, over, over the last few days range, okay, we're just going to take a look at it. There's your last few days range. You're going to see that right there. Okay, now, earlier this morning... I was talking to you about hogs. Now, there's not much difference between, uh, you know, the Canadian dollar and hogs. There really isn't. But the thing that you want to do is you want to watch for the yum yum trade. And let me get it. I'm just going to put this in here to show you the yum yum trade because it's the one that John uses, and I think it's uh, it's worthy it's worthy of our uh, experience. But anyway, I'm just going to draw the pattern in so you'll be able to walk me through this. And we always learn something as we do these things. Now, I'll just draw one more line here so you'll be able to see it. You know, basically, the yum yum is uh, is another way of looking at a, a break of a one three five pattern. But let's get this up here so that we can take a look, folks. This is this is the way. Uh, okay, all right. All right, there you go. There is the, uh, there it is. You, you'll see here this over the last uh, hour. This is a, you know, 15 minute chart. So it's about several hours of trading here. Early this morning, you see, we come down, we make a lower low than we did yesterday uh, by just a little bit. That's your first sign that something's not correct. But look what happens when the market pops above the 78% level. Sayonara, it's off to the races. It goes from, uh, one uh, twelve thirty five all the way up to twenty four. That's a that's a seven hundred dollar move, folks, in just over two hours. So that's the kind that you're looking for. So pay attention to that. There's one other thing on this chart that would be very helpful if you're if you're trading currencies is to look at the retracement that you get when the market is uh, coming back down. You'll see that it goes exactly. The old Exactamundo, hold on just a second, Exactamundo, right to the 382 retracement there. When it backs off, it backs off one hour to the 382 retracement and then goes up and makes another new high. So uh, these little things, uh, they get, get you in the right direction sometimes. Sometimes they don't, but we're very, very close to uh, seeing these. Now, we're almost ready to make new highs. Let's shift gears here a little bit, boys and girls, because we've got the uh, S&P just about ready to make new highs. The old high was at uh, uh, 45, uh, 90, 50, and we're at 45. 4588. Let's just uh, do one quick little thing here just for kicks and giggles, just to see where we are, because I think there's something that we need to pay close attention to today. Bear with me here. One second as I look at the old charts on the wall. Oh, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. Hold on just a second. I think we I think we got a winner. Just a second here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, it's going to be close. It is going to be close, boys and girls. It is going to be close. Let's just get this down here. Yo, baby. Yo, mama. Yep, we're up there, up against a new high right here. Now let's let's uh, remember the old remember part of the alphabet that we have that we like so much. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Yes, I have taking my meds today. And I hope I will be able to another day. This is what happens when you over-medicate, boys and girls. Hold on, I'm trying to do thing, two things at once. And when you're an Italian, it's a real, it's not fun. Hold on just a second here. Little Sarah's in there in the other room sewing her little Lisa Conchita outfit for Halloween. And that will be right there. Hold on one second right there. Okay, now we're ready to get back in the old saddle here. Take our 
Burl Walter with us as we go down to the old Mexican Pueblo down there in Nogales, Mexico. As you can see here, folks, there's another ABCD pattern. Remember, uh, on Monday, I posted one of these at 45.88. Uh, the high was 45.90. This one means we should make a new high above 45.90. And if it doesn't get any higher than 45.92, 45.93, that's a very interesting proposition because stop and think, folks. This is a pretty big move. That's over 30 handles in the S&P. That's $1,500. You know, that's equivalent to $30, uh, $15 in gold. So uh, watch this very closely because if we make a new high and we don't turn down, that means the last part of the day uh, could be a little, you know, be a little dicey, you know, but I don't know. I People people complain to me, folks, because when I say things like, I don't know, or maybe it will, maybe it won't. And you know why I say those things? Because they're true. I don't know everything. And I, I know that. You know, I mean, uh, all I can do is give you some ideas to, to you know, to do things. You know, that's all. I, I always tell you, number one, you know, risk control. Number two is try to figure out what the heck you're doing while, but while you're doing this stuff. And it's not that hard. You know, it's really not. But uh you know, the fact when I can say, I don't know where it's going, I can say that day after day after day with ease. But people say, well, if you don't know, why am I paying you a service if you don't know? You know, I have an idea that it might be going there. Knowing 100% never happened. In the old Indian verbiage of that from the old Long Ranger is nebahachi, means never happened. So that's uh, neither here nor there, you know. All right. I hope that helps. Let's keep that eye on the wall here. Forty. Uh, I'll be off the air by this probably time. It happens. Maybe not. Forty-five ninety-two is the number. The old high was forty-five ninety seventy-five. Pay attention to it. It's A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Aren't you very proud of me? Our little two-year-old Sarah's little two-year-old grandson is already through his alphabet in English and in Chinese, so I think that's a, a pretty good deal. I do have a little bit of a, of a human human interest story that you'll probably like. I like it. I hope you like it. Got a, a, a email, not an email, a Scott, uh, WhatsApp from my daughter Jill. Uh, she has the grandson. He's a Chase. He's in. Uh, New York City, he's finished his freshman year at Stanford. He had a scholarship there. He's got straight A's, and he wouldn't go back for his sophomore year. He said, college is not for me. I want to be a comedian, so I'm going to New York City. And he went there 18 months ago. And believe it or not, folks, he is a thriving comedian. He works only three days a week, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, occasionally on Sunday. And last night was something very special. He invited his uh, mother to come and spend the week with him for Halloween. And uh, he put her up in a beautiful hotel at a very expensive price. And last night, uh, they went to a function off-Broadway. And believe it or not, he had a walk-on part. And my daughter, she said, how about that? And I said, tell me about it. And today, they're going to Ellis Island. And uh, my grandfather was a member, a founding member of the Sons of Italy. And uh, so we got some uh, perks from that. Uh, they, they don't have to wait in line and they get a free ride and other stuff like that. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's get back to work. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The 
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I'm going to post a chart here. It's a four-minute chart of the uh, crude oil. And notice here, uh, early this morning, we made a beautiful ABCD up there. Actually, actually that 83.28 was a 78% retracement of the high from that we made it. If, uh, oh, it wasn't, excuse me, not not 78. Hold on, let me get the exact figure. Otherwise, it'll drive me, it'll be, it was right at the exact 61% retracement. Let's just put this up here and you'll see where it is right now. And I'm just going to post it again just to show you what was happening when that little tiny pattern was going on. Just give me a second here. And uh, this is what we're going to be doing all day long on the 10th. There's our 61% retracement there at 63.20. The low of the day down there at 61.40, $2,000 lower. That's 40 handles in the S&P, folks. And that was exactly 61% retracement of the low on the 28th. And so what we have going on right now is nothing more than another ABCD pattern up here at uh, 82, uh, 88, 82.92. And uh, that shouldn't get any higher than that. You don't have to risk about, uh, you know, 40 uh, pips on that, $400. But that's what it is. You'll notice that the low that we made down here this morning was an exact 61% retracement, went all the way up to the 61% retracement, down to the 78% retracement, and probably back up to that ABCD there. So these markets are very, very volatile, so don't be surprised, you know, because this volatility is going to increase, and it's going to increase in an amount that you just won't even believe, actually, when it gets moving. Now, I'm not just talking about gold, I'm talking about everything, because it looks like the stock market's going to be going up forever and ever and ever and ever and ever you can take that to the bank all right let's move on here to a couple other things that we need to cover here oh i uh just give me one second and i will be right with you on tuesday uh, we're going to have jeff huge from alpha insights uh on the on the tube with us today so that'll be uh, a lot of fun and i'm doing my very best to get john jameson to come on but uh he's a uh he's a mystery man he just uh he doesn't uh, like to talk in public too much. He talks a lot in private, but not too much in private. By the way, a big thing. Hey, forgot. I got this written down, and it's a big thing. Do you realize today on Bloomberg, folks, they have a whole section of quotes on cryptocurrency. They have five of them up there. They had Bitcoin, Ethereum, 
XRP, what that is, and a couple others I'd never even heard of. But the fact that they're showing some of the cryptocurrencies, remember, there's thousands of these things. So it's a question of which ones are going to work and which ones are not going to work. But the fact that Bloomberg's putting them in the air is, uh, I think, very important. Now, CNBC's had the Bitcoin quote on all the time in the lower right-hand corner. About every three minutes, they'll post that. And that'll be, uh, you know, that's being uh, what they'll be watching. So, anyway, I hope that uh, you folks have that. Because if these things are here to stay, what the heck they mean, I don't know. I, I frankly don't. All I know is they trade pretty good off FIP numbers and stuff. So, that's the bottom line of what I'm paying attention to here. Okay, let's move on here. Well, we didn't quite get there. It may be in there a number. But do we still have it till 12 o'clock to get to that uh 45 uh, uh, 92 level in the stop and P we'll see if it can see if we can make it to that level uh, I didn't look at the I didn't look at the Nasdaq today it's probably behind a little bit because of the fact that the uh, you know the Apple and some of these others got hit pretty good but you know Apple you know came back a little bit and Tesla's still going up and oh another one uh, someone just told me about Netflix this is another one very important folks here let me get Netflix up here because it had uh, Fact is, the guy that's working uh, remodeling our house here in Tucson owns Netflix. Uh, he he's a he's a very avid stock trader. He doesn't like to work in the morning. Hold on, just a second. See, Netflix starts with an N, doesn't it? N F L X. And shut the front door. Where is it? Are you kidding me? Oh, I know where it is. Bear with me, folks. It's in the old Fang section. Oh, that's something we got to do. We got to look at some of these Fang stocks. We're going to do that right now. Whoa, are you looking at this? This is uh, Google. Let me see if we can. Uh, yeah, Google. Uh, how much time? Oh, we got plenty of time. I'm going to run through these quickly. This still looks bullish in, in uh, Google. Get this up here. But we got to look at Netflix because it is blown through a very important 1.618 level. Uh, and uh, you'll see it right here uh, vividly. I mean, <laughs> You can see it's it's gone to the races, and we'll get this up here to take it. It's very, very bullish. We hit the 480, excuse me, 680 here pretty soon. Uh, that's what we're looking at. Uh, okay. All right. And uh, that was the – that we did Google. Uh, we've already done Tesla. Uh, here's Microsoft. Oh, my goodness. Look at Microsoft, folks. You talk about making uh, a good decision. Look at <laughs> – holy cow. Let's take a look at this. Uh, look at micro. Uh, look at Softy here. We went through that 618 like it didn't even exist again for the second time. We we'll get this down on a little shorter term time frame. Look, look what it did, folks. There's the. You can see the little trade that I did uh, way back here at the beginning. You'll, you'll see it clearly. And then all it did today was go back up and make a new high by. Uh, Oh, a couple of bucks. So the reason why I was saying, you know, you got to be covering it down there at 21, that's a small ABCD and you're only doing it for a day trade. Well, I said I'd rather put my stop at break even. And of course, yeah, that's what happened. And so uh, now it's making a new high. So let's look at this on the weekly because I still, th oh, it's still just smoking. Holy cow. This uh, See, there you go. It's never going down. It's never going down. Hold on one second. There is Softy on the way. And we've, oh, Amazon. That, that's one that should be down today, but it's come back already. I see a little bit. It was hit really hard. Of course, they know Mr. Bezos needs the money. And so they're rallying it back for him. And we'll get this moving up here. And then you'll see uh, we've actually rallied about 50 bucks. Can you believe it? It drops 120 and rallies 50. Let's look at it on a little 15 minute chart and uh, you'll see that all we've done is made a 382 shut the front door and raise the rent may or may not mean something may or might may or may not mean anything i don't know we've already looked at that facebook is getting a little bit of a uh, uh it's no longer facebook it's called uh Meyer, mirror, something like that. I don't mirror. Oh, I, I know what it is. It's mirror, mirror on the wall. We've got all the money. Hold on. Anyway, there, as you can see here, that the Facebook is rallying. What's the new name of that thing? Is it called Mix or Mayor? Meyer? Meyer. 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 That's what it is. Meyer. Okay. Maybe it's from. Uh, 
Golda Meyer. All right, let's move on. Uh, we've already done all those. So that's all this. That's all we have on the Teslas. And time is running out. Saved by the bell one more time, boys and girls. We'll see you next week. I will cover the last couple of minutes here, and uh, about what I think is important, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and please stay on for Meta is the name of the my my brain trust told me it's not Me Meyer, it's Meta. So uh, make everyone take alcohol. I think that's what it stands for. All right, we're going to take a break here, folks, and we'll be right back to talk about what I think I'm seeing. We'll go from there. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, uh, the last one I'm going to show you today is uh, none other than the old AB equals CD, also known as a three drive to a top pattern. Has some very nice symmetry, and uh, it's called the Dow Jones Industrial Index. It's the index itself, not the futures, and that number is right at uh, nearly 36,000, so watch it. They'll bring out the old tin hats at the uh, New York Stock Exchange when that happens, but pay attention. It's just a pattern. That's all it is. Okay, uh, one other question, and that's about the uh, 
coffee that Mr. Z was talking about. This doesn't have any markings on it, which is probably a blessing for you folks. But you can see here that we've been in a slight downtrend over the past couple of weeks. The last rally that we had on Friday, excuse me, on Tuesday, was a 61% retracement up there at 209. We're now trading at 201. Uh, we've hit the 78% level three times at uh, 11, uh, excuse me, 198. Going below 198 signifies that we are heading down because that's a double top pattern, folks. Uh, it's spot on a double top because you have an ABCD pattern right in the middle of that double top. And that's what makes it such a such a very nice double top. We'll draw that in here because we show these on the newsletters you know, every week, but you'll be able to see it without too much trouble here. And we'll post it up so you'll be able to see it. And uh, there you'll see it right there. Hold on one second. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. We'll see you on the flip side on Monday. Uh, Jeff Huge on Tuesday. And I believe we have Stan Harley next week, if I'm uh, not mistaken. So uh, stay with us, and we'll have a lot of fun. Do something nice for your neighbors, folks. A lot of them are hurting, and they do need help. This thing is not over, and it's not going to be over for a very long time. So help those that need help. We're very blessed to, to have some of that stuff. So let's remember that.